I'm on hold for a radio interview. Driving home with Eamon Holmes on Talk Radio. Call Eamon now on 0344 499 1000. Calls charged at Providers National Rate. And if you phone us, we will be able to tell what regional accent you have, because that's what we're talking about now. And that number, as we get into this subject, 03444991000. Elif Mills is my producer on this program today. Now, I personally love the variety, the richness uh, of dialect uh, and and whatever, Uh, but uh, nearly 30% of those... uh, surveyed uh, in the, by the London North East Railway Company said they felt they'd been hearing more neutral accents, uh, particularly over the past five years. Uh, over a third said they felt their own accent has weakened as they've got older, and uh, they celebrated this diversity in an ad. Let's have a listen to that. All right, Governor, take a few. Would you like a Rosie Lee? We're a small island. With a big mouth. A more dicky purse than war and peace. 900 miles of tracks and... A thousand different accents. Every valley and peak shifts the way that we speak. If it's nippy, we say it's code. Don't take your jumper, take your gansy. We don't ask if you'd like something nice for your dinner. We say, for your tea, do you want not fancy? We dig deepers. And no sleepers. We don't get in a mood. We get modder. We are big spoons. And come on the tunes. We're not covered in mud. We're clotty. We're not squeamish. We're beamish. We're hardy. We're the pit towns and the grit towns. We're salt burned by the sea. Eston Nab. Radical Jack. And Long Sands Beach. The fog on the chain and the smog on the tees. But for the Davids as well as Goliaths. We are Spenmore Town FC. Whether the weather's dreek. Whether you prefer tatties or neeps. Whether you know or you can. Obdy's welcome here. Just dinner call me hen. To get snugly at the lovely Edinburgh Church. We'll coolie in at Greyfriars Kirk. Or in the nuke of Fife with a clan or scran. We are Rajas. We're loons. And we're quines. We're the docks. And the lochs. And the three pairs of socks. But we're not in the rocks. We're just fine. We are Hull. We are York. We are up on Tweed. Doncaster. Darlington. Durham. Dundee. We are London. Grantham. Newcastle. Leith. Bap. Cobb. Stotty. Peace. Lincoln. Leeds. Lukers. And Aberdeen. So stay or by the way. LNER, the railway company uh, with that ad and however uh, that makes you feel. Um, it I, makes me makes me I just I like it I like all the, the, the different accents yeah. yeah except a lot of people are embarrassed by accents and uh, let's talk to uh, youtuber Alice Thorpe I'm not suggesting you're one of them Alice where are you from I'm from Doncaster yeah and uh, well, what's your whole experience of all of this are people proud of their accents or are, are they under pressure uh, either through professional means or, or social means to change I think there is a pressure to sound more well spoken if you like but um being a part of this campaign with lner we were told to make our own accents more known and more bold so it was really nice to celebrate it rather than trying to hide it do you think you've ever been held back alice because of your accent um it has put me in a few sticky situations um with recording things for youtube and various different things people struggling to understand my accent but now I've learned that it's a part of me and it should be celebrated. I used to, uh, when I was young and, um, you know, I came to England, there was a lot of people, um, and, uh, they often tended to be Scottish people who who you could tell were frightened of their own accent. They would speak in this sort of Edinburgh voice yeah. that they would make up, or <laughs> I'm from Glasgow, but not that part of Glasgow, I'm from a good part of Glasgow. <laughs> and they would speak like that. And we have people in Belfast who are exactly the same. Yes, we're from Cherry Valley. And you know, they, 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 they take their accent and they twist it and they do things but those are the sort of people that was tend to make fun oh listen to you hi now brown cow you they would do you get people impersonating you ella oh i get it all the time i had it today by a member of staff and i think what annoys me is that some accents people assume that you're stupid if you have certain regional dialects i'm a londoner if anyone knows any londoners they speak like me i don't speak like a chimney sweep you know i've just got i've just got a london accent but but for a lot of people that perhaps have led sheltered lives and you know are from the sticks as i'd call it they're not used to it and they think that if you're a southerner you speak with a sort of nondescript um you know surrounding counties i used to get get people you know at various jobs and they'd say um i would say 
uh, now let's go to the weather. No, no, let's go to the weather. Yeah. No. And the thing about it, it didn't have any effect on me. I actually was fine. And I would just, you know, I could handle myself and tell them what to yeah. do. Uh, but it can be intimidating. And, and there, there is pressure on people to conform, Alice, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. I think, especially because I have to listen to my own voice quite a lot with yeah. my videos. Yeah. Um, it's hard not to try and slip it into more well-spoken. But really, I'm a, I'm a Yorkshire girl through and through. So yeah. she's a proud bit. <laughs> But you see, Alice, I think there's a bit of truth in what this survey has brought up here, that um, although I would say to you, oh, well, I still think I speak with a Northern Irish accent, I think maybe after 30 years, maybe it's mellowed, maybe I'm not as, um, what, is they, what do they say, as you know, strong um, yeah. as, as maybe a lot of other people may be. So I think there may be truth, Alice, in, in what your survey's found. Yeah, for sure. I, um, Eleni, I did some interesting research, which I know you mentioned, um, that a lot of accents are now kind of blurring into one and people try and kind of find it hard to distinguish between them. And I know personally from when I went to university, when I came back home, people said I sounded different. So I think it is natural yeah. for it to kind of get softer and weaker. Well, thanks for that. Hopefully we're going to get lots of people uh, phoning in, Alice, as a result of, of all of this. Uh, I've got to go to the news, so I've got to say goodbye to you. Uh, 03444991000, phone to talk about accents. Thanks so much, Alice. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye. I've just been interviewed by f***ing Eamon Holmes. <laughs> oh my god, I am fully shaking. I did not know it was going to be him. Like, I watch him on this morning when he takes over from Holly and Phil, when him and Ruth do it. I hope I made sense. Did I make sense? I'm going to, I'm going to ask my manager to send me like a playback of that. I'm literally shaking and sweating. <laughs> ah! Hello. Guess who I've just been interviewed by? Oh, Eamon Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> so when is it on? It's just been on live. I was live on Blooming Summit Radio. This producer guy rang me at court two, which I knew about, and he was like, oh, hi, we're just on adverts. Can I put you straight through? I was like, yeah, okay, that's literally all he said. And then next thing, um, I, hear, I could hear the radio playing as if I was just listening to it. And it was like, oh, host, Eamon Holmes. And like, I vlogged myself and I was just like, <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be him. So I'm just <laughs> myself. <laughs> Eamon Holmes. <laughs> what did he ask you? I can't remember. <laughs> Guess who I've just been interviewed by? Go on. Eamon Holmes. <laughs> Have you, really? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. And where's that interview going? Is that interview getting played live? It was live. So uh, that was my eventful day yesterday. Um, if you haven't seen the LNER video, go and watch it and listen to it. It's really, really cool. It comes with a little video. And I can't believe that I was surprised with an interview by Eamon Holmes. I actually love him and Ruth when they do this morning. So yeah, it was it was a great day. And I just want to share this little clip of a video with you guys because how crazy. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.